We have got some tiny little baby ones. I don't know how tiny Jamie's was, but possibly slightly tinier than these ones even. Nine of them there were yesterday. We're just counting them now. We're sitting with the Black Rock Pride. We've caught three lionesses, nine cubs yesterday. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, I think, over here. And climbing and suckling, none with that female, one very irate wattled plover yelling in the background there, and then with this female we've got one, two, three, so that makes eight, four. Oh, fantastic. We've been watching them, you know, and there were five, and then there were six, and then there were seven, and now, fantastic, they're all here. Nine little black rock cubs aged between five and eight weeks, I think. We are obviously in infrared. I'm sure Jeremy explained that to you so that we don't have to shine any artificial light on these cubs whatsoever. Just the infrared. They don't see any light. They know we're here, of course. They can hear me speaking. But everyone very content here. Now, our main objective behind sitting with them for this length of time, we've been here now, well, on and off for the last three hours or so, the main objective was to see if the male that we found this morning would come and interact with the cubs, because that would be a really nice closing off of our little black rock cub story. be wonderful to see the male interacting with the cubs. That, for me, is one of the best things to watch, and I think many people agree with me, simply because, of course, it's such a wonderful human thing to have a father that takes care and takes uh, pays attention. And it's so rare in the mammal world, and so we love to see it as human beings. There is the wattled plover. They're obviously quite near his or her nest, and she is very deeply upset. She's been making that deeply unmelodious call. Right, let's head straight back across to Jamie and her tiny little cubs.